My name is Dennis, and uh, I work as a TypeScript developer at Evolution Gaming, where we make the many video games uh, for casinos and users can play online against the real dealers. And around a year ago, we started the brand new line for our company, which is uh, 3D games. Uh, so we make <coughs> We had a goal to make the 3D photorealistic games to run in any browser uh, with the great performance. We also care about the milliseconds and uh, reusable 3D elements so we could assemble new games uh, quicker than previous one. All right. Now, video games, we use uh, uh, React, TypeScript, uh, Redux, uh, Webpack, etc. And in our 3D games, we decided to follow the same stack uh, as we already could reuse many uh, components which are done in video games. Uh, and for 3D part, we use Babylon.js, uh, which is complete JavaScript framework to build uh, the video games and experiences with HTML5, uh, WebGL, WebVR, etc. And uh, to make the simple scene, you need to make the 3D scene and add the meshes, which are uh, 3D shapes uh, in the 3D world. So in a simple example, uh, we have a scene, we have a table as a mesh, uh, we have uh, children meshes like buttons, buttons also can have some children, and we also can have the uh, independent meshes like cards. And then if we want to inject this construction into React, we probably need to uh, make the uh, 3D scene component where we add the canvas and initialize the engine, and then we go to add the, the meshes. All right, so on the video you can see uh, the uh, scene with the table, with buttons on the table, with, uh, uh, so everything are just small pieces like the meshes. And uh, th some of them are complex, like door behind the table, like the whole room is a separate mesh. Uh, but some of the elements, they are reusable, right? So we, uh, we could make kind of 3D component library where we just move our reusable elements and we don't want to re-implement them in the each game. Uh, we just move them into the separate package and reuse in the both games. All right, so we have the reusable components. Now we can uh, assemble the game. Uh, we put our room, our table into this uh, 3D scene component, our buttons are chips. But here is the problem. Uh, meshes, say, are, we can compare them with the presentation components. So they uh, just build the uh, Make the image on this on the screen, and uh, they don't have any logic. So, uh, but we want uh, we want to achieve the uh, dispatch and the action when we press the button. We want to validate the buttons, and we want to update our chips when balance is updated. Uh, for these needs, we created the Redux mesh, which is a mesh extension. Uh, 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 which extends the mesh meshes from Babylon.js, uh, so we can uh, inject them into our 3D tree. Uh, they are connectable to uh, Redux store. Uh, partially, they implement the uh, React lifecycle, and they are rendered a bit another way than React renders. Uh, on a simple example, we have table. Uh, we have buttons as the Redux meshes, and buttons like this one can have the uh, tooltip. And uh, because of the uh, connectable, we can have the dispatcher. So when we click the button, we uh, dispatch an action which changes the state in the store. And all connected uh, buttons they are uh, they are disabled, and we also remove the unneeded elements. All right, so we just made the Redux mesh as the uh, 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 as a stateful component. So now we can assemble the whole game based on this stateful part, and we still can use the meshes as the presentation part. Uh, but it was not enough for us, as we already. Uh, 
as we wanted to reuse some components from our video games inside our uh, 3D tree. Uh, so those numbers uh, above the cards, uh, those are uh, just normal uh, React components. Uh, we just need to attach them somehow to the 3D scene. For this needs, we implemented the HTML mesh, uh, which is Redux mesh extension uh, wrapper for React components, and it uh, does repositions and scales of the React components on the scene. And uh, React, uh, HTML mesh makes the React components renders actually React way. Uh, with by having these two uh, classes, now our uh, React tree can look like this. So in the 3D scene component, uh, we can uncheck our Redux meshes uh, as a way we, we use just normal uh, stateful components and also HTML meshes. So they allow us to reuse the uh, React components inside our 3D. And uh, we can still use our just normal meshes to render once and don't touch it. Uh, so, that's it. Thank you. Enjoy your lunch if you have any questions. <laughs>